With Mathematica, it's easy to make any visualization or calculation interactive. Using a single command, manipulate, you can turn your static graphic into a sophisticated dynamic model. So let's make another new section. I want to call this section Making Interactive Models with Mathematica. So I'm going to go up to Format and Style and I'll make a section. Or I could have hit Alt 4 or I could have used that Cell Insertion Assistant as well. Let's call this Making Interactive Models. Now the function to make an interactive model in Mathematica, I'll hit Alt 5 to make a subsection, is Manipulate. Let's go ahead and hit the down arrow key and make our first interactive model. So I'm going to use Mathematica input. I can do that or uh, just start typing. Now my function is manipulate. Now you'll notice as I'm typing in Mathematica's programming language, you'll see color syntax supported. If Mathematica doesn't know a function, it's blue. Once it understands what that function is, it turns black. If there are brackets that are not matched, for example in this one it's red, it's uh, unmatched. When I'm ready to start matching these up, let's say plot, open square bracket, sign, open square bracket, x, close square bracket, and you see that flash. So we'll say x goes from negative 10 to 10. It's going to match up the curly brace, match up the bracket, and I need some variable to manipulate. So I'm going to click my mouse um, before the x, and I'm going to add a variable called freq for frequency, and then space. Now space means inherently to multiply in Mathematica. You can multiply using shift 8 to make the multiplication symbol, or you can use the space. So now I have the variable freq times x. You'll see I've not defined freq yet. It's dark blue. x is defined by me, so it's light blue. And plot, sign, and manipulate are all built-in functions of Mathematica, so they're all black. So we need to define freq. We'll say freq goes from 1 to 5. I'll match up that brace, match up that bracket, hit shift enter on my keyboard, and really without all of my talking, you know, it's just 20 seconds I've made a nice little model to investigate how frequency affects the sine curve. I can open up this little plus sign and it allows me some controllers. I can play it, I can slow it down, I can speed it up, I can pause it, and say I wonder what this looks like where frequency is 2. I can hit enter, so you have a lot of ability to work with this model. Now you can make this as expansive or as interesting as you want. For example, I can add the variable amp, AMP, onto this. Remember, without the space, this is one variable called amp sign, A-M-P-S-I-N. But I want amp space times the built-in function sign or amp shift 8 to make the multiplication symbol. And now I need to define amp because it's dark blue. So we'll say amp goes from 1 to 5 also. Now I have two sliders, one for frequency, one for amplitude. Instead of sign, let's call this fun for function, and I'm going to make fun be the list of sine, cosine, and tangent. So I need those curly braces around any lists in Mathematica, so I've made a list where fun is defined as uh, sine, cosine, and tangent. And you see Mathematica made buttons for me there for sine, cosine, and tangent. So making these models is extremely easy to do, and I have a full interactive model to investigate the amplitude and frequency of sine, cosine, and tangent, and how they differ from each other. Now, making the models is simple, but we also have a huge repository of these models already pre-built for you to access to use in your classes, in your research, in your presentations, for your colleagues in a company, government lab, whatever. You have complete access to tons and tons of these demonstrations already made by people like you. So let's hit Alt-5 to add one more subsection in this uh, area. Let's call this Demonstrations. So we access the demonstrations via the web. We can also go to Help and Welcome screen, and you have the ability to link to the demonstrations right from that Welcome screen too. So I'm going to click on Get Demonstrations with Source Code, and up pops a web browser for me where I can see all these demonstrations housed at demonstrations.wolfram.com. I can browse by topic, like mathematics, computation, physical sciences, etc. Or I can search by keyword as well. Once you find a demonstration you're interested in, you can click on it. You can do a watch web preview of that demonstration. You can download it so you have a version on your own computer to interact with. But the point is you have complete control and the ability to get these free demonstrations without you having to create any of them from scratch.
So now in the next section, we'll take a closer look at how to access Wolfram Alpha computable data or import your own data and use this data in your calculations.